So we've got a rectangle here. It's 5 ninths of a meter tall and 7 eighths of a meter wide. What is its area? And I encourage you to pause the video to think about that. Well, one way to think about it, you can say, okay, our area, our area we, is just going to be the width times the height. We're just going to multiply these two dimensions. And so the width is 7 eighths of a meter. So it's going to be 7 eighths of a meter times the height. Times the height, which is 5 ninths of a meter. Times 5 ninths of a meter. And what's that going to get us? Well, that's just going to be equal to the meters times the meters give us square meters. So meters squared, we could write it like that. And then we're going to have, and then we're going to have 7 times, let me just in a new color. We're going to have 7 times 5 in the numerator to get us 35. And then in the denominator, in the denominator, we are going to have 8 times 9 to give us 72. And we'd be done. This is the area of this rectangle here. It's 35 70 seconds of a square meter. But what I want to do now is think a little bit deeper about why that actually makes sense, or just really another way of thinking about it. And to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this, this region into equal rectangles. So let's split it into equal rectangles. And we see that we have seven, if we go in, if we go in the horizontal direction, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or you could say in each row we have seven of these rectangles. In each column, you have one, two, three, four, five of these rectangles. So you can see we have five times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have five times seven of these rectangles. So we have so 30, 35. We have 35 rectangles. 30, I'll just write it as 35 rectangles. And what's the area of each of those rectangles? Well, if this is 7 eighths meters wide, and this is divided into seven equal sections in the horizontal direction, that means that, means that each of these is exactly 1 eighth of a meter wide. And by that same logic, each of these, if this whole thing is 5 ninths, and the height of each of these is 1 fifth, because we have five, five rectangles per column, then the height of each of these is going to be 1 ninth of a meter. So what's the area of just this character right over here? Well, it's going to be 1 ninth of a meter times 1 eighth of a meter. So this area, this area right over there, is just going to be 1 ninth of a meter times 1 eighth of a meter, which is equal to 1 times 1 is 1, 9 times 8 is 72, and meters times meters is square meters. So the area of each of these 35 is 1 72nd of a square meter. So I can say 35, so the area of all of them combined is going to be 35 times the area of each of them. 35 times 1 72nd of a square meter. And what's that going to be? Well, that's going to be exactly what we got up here. 35 times 1 72nd of a square meter is going to be 35. 35. 70 seconds, 70 seconds of a square meter. And this 35 is the same one that we had in yellow. That's this one right over there. So once again, you can just multiply 5 ninths times 7 eighths to get what we have got here. But hopefully when we thought about the area of each of these, each of these rectangles, it might make a little bit more intuitive sense where this number came from.